Today we're gonna make some garlic shrimp risotto. I bought this frozen cauliflower risotto at Target probably a month ago, never used it. So I'm finally going to throw it in the microwave. I think all you do is just put it in here on this side up for six minutes. So we're gonna do this. And then we're just gonna cook the shrimp separately. So let's go ahead and throw this in the microwave. And now we're gonna start on the shrimp, which is just fresh caught. Um, caught it with my bare hands this morning. I was out in the sea. All right, now we're going to add garlic powder. You could use fresh garlic. Um, I'm just lazy. Salt, onion powder, paprika, and black pepper. Wait, Princess Tiger Lily, you have had the cauliflower risotto and you said you're obsessed with it? Kayleen is down eight pounds in how long? In two weeks. Wow, that's amazing. Congrats. All right, so we're going to mix this up. Um, I'll just use a round fork. <laughs> All right. And now we're just going to cook it in the skillet with some butter. I caught you in a sun. What does that mean, Joel? On a Sunday? All right, now we're going to throw this. In here. I guess first we'll let the butter melt. All right, and I'm currently doing something, hold on. All right, sorry about that. I was setting up this gate. We have like a, it's like a bunch of little bunny rabbits in our apartment and I'm trying to keep them out of the kitchen. Okay, so now we're just letting this butter melt. Do you also intermittent fast? I don't do intermittent fasting, but a lot of people do find great benefits from fasting. It's just not my vibe because I like drinking a thick, creamy coffee, and I also like eating pretty late at night. Is butter keto? Yep, you can eat as much butter as you want, and you will always be in ketosis. Make sure you're always getting real butter, though. The stuff that's in a tub, like Country Crock, or I can't believe it's not butter, it's actually vegetable oil, um, and it's not great for you, so. I'll show you guys the bunny rabbits in a second. Okay, I may have needed a bigger pan. Let's actually know we're good. So we're just gonna do like two minutes on each side. Normally you would have added the garlic the minced garlic in with the butter. And once it became fragrant, that's when you add the shrimp. But because I'm using garlic powder, we're just going this way. I'm using Kerrygold butter. Nana, I'm glad you enjoy the round fork that I'm using. Are you from Canada asking because of your A? So I don't actually say Canada, like the A as in like a Canadian way. It's more of like a, like A. Like, hey, what is your take on Kerrygold compared to regular butter? Guys, as long as you're eating real butter, it doesn't matter. I, I used to just buy the Walmart sticks of butter. My fiance is uh, like very bougie when it comes to butter for some reason, and she prefers Kerrygold. She says it tastes better. I don't notice the difference, but I don't know. It's whatever.
Ghee versus butter. I think ghee is better for high heat cooking, right? Oh no, the hot plate that I'm cooking on has butane in it and it ran out of fuel. I have to get another canister really quick. Risotto in the fridge doesn't smell bad. All right. Now we've got the heat on. Yeah, I can't believe that just happened. Sorry guys, I had to tell Anna to comment what we're making. Ooh, we're about to flip this. Somebody asked if keto and paleo are the same. They're not. I think paleo is probably the the most natural way to eat as far as like what are humans meant to be eating. I think paleo is the most sustainable like long-term option for a lot of people. But for somebody like me who grew up eating junk food and junk food is like my favorite thing in the world, I like doing keto because I can still eat like processed keto foods and make keto replacements for the carbs that I used to crave and not feel guilty about it not being something that like naturally occurs on earth because that's the whole point of paleo like you're only eating foods that existed 2,000 years ago that people were eating 2,000 years ago or longer than that rather but um with keto you can eat all of the ice creams and like all of that stuff and as long as you're in ketosis you're doing it right But yeah, Anna has been in the other room having a cough attack for the past month. All right, time to flip. I think I waited a little too long. I hope this experiment is not over. I think it is. I think I overdid it. Let's like turn the heat down a little. And this is going to take me so long. It's like I flip one and then I accidentally unflip another one. Okay. There are just a few pieces over here that I have to flip. And I think after like literally a minute, we're just going to take them off because they should be done. Oh my God, my stupid microwave is so annoying. The spoon would have been faster. Okay. All right. 
I'm just trying to get the ones that don't look like they were flipped or were like on the edge. And the risotto is done, so we can literally put this on a plate and eat it. And just like that, this was like a 10 minute dinner. I would say this is done. I don't know what the internal temperature of shrimp is supposed to be, but. All right. Oh my God, will this microwave stop beeping? what it says to do after you cook it, but let it stand one minute. What does it mean, let it stand? Like, are you supposed to let it sit upwards? But we don't follow those directions. We're just going to take it out immediately. All right, I don't know how I feel about this. It looks kind of lumpy. It smells really good. We're gonna find out if it tastes good. Is it supposed to be mushy because it's risotto? I guess now we just start adding the shrimp. A lot of people are saying it doesn't look good. I'm gonna taste it by itself too, so. I guess I could just dump the whole pan. It looks like mashed cauliflower, yeah. So Jin, you have made this before and you liked it. <clears throat> I got a piece of like paprika or something in my throat. All right, now we're gonna get a napkin and just rinse this off and then take a picture. Okay. Ooh, fresh Parmesan grated on top. What a good idea. Thank you, Rachel. That's definitely something Anna would suggest. Maybe some lemon and parsley flakes. Oh, we might have some little green flakes. Are you guys thinking like this or more? I'll get the special green flakes, yeah. Oh, I have lemon too, by the way. How would lemon look? Like, what do you guys think? A, a wedge of lemon on the... I don't have parsley, but we have mint, but we can make it look like it's parsley. If you just tear up any like green herb, even lettuce. It looks like whatever you want it to look like. I'll just take it off before I eat it. 
so that the flavors are not conflicting. Yeah, now we have some color, cool. So you guys are just saying to squeeze the, the lemon on top. Okay. Shout out to Mint coming to the rescue tonight. Ooh, this looks bussin'. Okay. You can't see very well because... Let's like put this on here. All right, we're just waiting for the moment of truth to see how it tastes. Okay, this picture is perfect. This will go in the next book. Time to taste. First, we're gonna take off the mint because this is not a mojito or whatever else you put mint in. Although I actually had some pine nuts. Shout out to my friend, Lady Mel's Kitchen. We made this amazing recipe and I had pine nuts for the first time and they tasted minty and it reminded me of the salad I used to get called an Airstream salad at this Austin restaurant called Torchy's. It's still not cold, um, it's warm, so. But it was like a salmon salmon and it had something minty in it. Okay, let me get a fork. And now we can eat. <laughs> 